Well, this is a 2002, and the beauty about this wine in particular is the fact that it's had a chance to settle in, in the bottle. So when you drink young wines, the alcohol is still very present on the nose. Um, and as the wine matures, the alcohol, alcohol dissipates. So when you do stick your face in a glass of, of 2002 like this, you can tell that the wine has um, matured a little bit, first of all. And second of all, they make their wine where the alcohol content isn't too high. So in the beginning, you're all, they're already ahead of the game because some people just pick really, really ripe and turning all those um, sugars into alcohol during the fermentation process really creates a really high alcohol volume. So it's really nice to know that um, drinking a wine that's been in the bottle for a little bit, time to mature, the flavors have relaxed a little bit. So you're not going to have one flavor out, outdo another or one profile of the wine outdo another. So when I smell the wine, um, you smell definite cherries. You know, the question is, I think sometimes is how hot it's outside. You can almost see whether it's like a kind of like a Bing cherry or like a really, really sour cherry. And I think this is a lot more of a relaxed fruit, which is really, really cool. And then once you take the wine in and kind of swish it around and swallow it, then you get the chance to experience the acidity of the wine, which in old world style, whether we're in new world or old world, is definitely an important thing because wine is supposed to go with food and you want acid in your wine and you want your acid makes your mouth salivate and that's what makes you want to take another bite and that's a really really important thing with with that and this wine definitely has beautiful acidity not to the point where all you it's very acidic or tart even but it has beautifully integrated acidity to it so that's another thing I really really enjoy about this wine and then you also get hints of what they have here um, on this property and that's you know hints of tar, hints of um, eucalyptus, um, a little bit of that menthol kind of mint quality to it. And I think those all benefit from the sense of place, which is where the vineyard is planted. So that's the experience of this wine I've had. I like this wine.